stitching with crochet on a hat. We have a hat called Mad for Plaid, which I can't find to show you, but um, it's on our website, jennifernitz.com. And um, we, we make stripes in the knitting. And then on the purl side, we crochet this line. We also have a sweater that's a checkerboard sweater that we use it on the knit side. So to figure out what crochet hook you're gonna use, they all have a number. This says five millimeter. So a US number eight knitting needle is the same size at, is a five millimeter, which is the same size as a five millimeter crochet hook. Sometimes they only have letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So if you're using say a four millimeter knitting needle, just Google what's a four millimeter crochet hook and it's gonna tell you what size to use. So try to use about the same size as what you knit your garment on. All right, I'm gonna go in a stitch. So I'm gonna go in a stitch, right? So can you see that? I'm going in the middle of a stitch. It's a little easier to see a stitch on the knit side. So it's like the middle of a V, you go in right there. But our hat, Mad for Plaid hat, is you crochet on the purl side. So I'm gonna go in a stitch, not in the middle of a stitch. That's the middle of a stitch. I wanna go right in the, I think it's easier to see on the light color, right in the middle of the stitch. So this is, sorry, right, yeah, right in the center of the stitch. This is in between two stitches. We don't wanna go there. We wanna go in the center of a stitch. So we're gonna go in and you wanna start at wherever you wanna start. Like you start from the base. If you wanna start up here, it's fine. Wherever you wanna start, you put your crochet hook in then you put your yarn underneath your garment or hat. So, and I would weave all these terrible ends first, otherwise you're gonna get confused with the string you're knitting on and the ends of your hat. I did not do that. I left all this baloney in there, but that's bad. So weave your ends first, then you pull out your thread, then you wrap your thread around your finger somehow, some way. Then I'm gonna go in the stitch above. So I have this one coming out, my first stitch, I go right in the stitch above, and then sort of like use the force loop, right? Mm -hmm. So you're just gonna feel your yarn underneath and pull it through. So you gotta use a little tension. It takes a little bit of practice. I have one coming out. I go in the stitch.